You're quiet. I haven't said a word all morning. Well, don't have to talk all the time, do I? No, but your ex-husband's just got engaged. No one would blame you for being a teensy bit weirded out, wouldn't they? No. So, are you weirded out or uh, maybe even a little jealous? No, I'm super happy for the pair of them. Blimey, you two should get together. She's obviously as super happy as you are. Harriet, you OK? Um, Ashley uh, broke it off. What? What, the engagement? The relationship. Everything. <laughs> So I'm going to make sure that they don't. I just can't help but feel this is my fault. Don't be daft. But I was the one who kept going on about you two being right for each other. That's what you thought. That's what I thought. Oh, I can't believe I've been so foolish. I'm sure he didn't mean to hurt you. Well, what he meant and what he did are two very different things. And I was stupid enough to let my guard down. You don't choose who you fall in love with. It just happens. Yeah, well, never again. Not me. I'd rather bury my feelings. Save for all round. Oh, don't. I feel awful. Why? You didn't split them up. Well, I kind of sort of did. Because you told her they belong together. How could you? You are not helping. Suppose you want Ashley to be happy. Yeah, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? Well, I didn't say you wouldn't. I'm just trying to work out why you feel guilty. Have you heard from Arthur? Um, he's at school. Well, I've just had a text from Gabby. Apparently Ashley's turned up at their schools and taken them out. What do you mean, taking them out? Well, he managed to persuade the teachers their dentist appointments. Hang on, that's not right. No, I didn't think so. So what the hell's he playing at? And where's he taking the kids? Why are we doing this? Because it's fun. Why would you do something like that? Hmm. I don't like the sound of it, to be honest. What? And Laurel told me that he's broken up with Harriet. But I thought they were engaged. Gabby said that she proposed in church. Maybe he's had a breakdown or something. When people do funny things. What are you suggesting? I don't know, do I? But one minute him and Harriet are desperately in love, and, and now it's all over, and he's abducted the kids. Abducted? All right, stop, stop right there. I'm only saying. No, you're not. You're stirring things up like you usually do. You are? Yeah, like when I was married to Ashley. Always running him down, saying he's dull when he's not, and now you're saying that he's gone mad and he's done some harm to the kids, which is absolutely ridiculous. Well, that told you. Mm. Sorry, I don't quite know what happened there. It's all right, it's a bit you worried. No, nothing. <laughs> Hi! At last! What the hell have you been playing at? We've been on a picnic. I thought we deserved a treat. Sorry if I worried anyone. A picnic? We've been going frantic here. And I hope you haven't ruined your tea, young lady. I went to a lot of trouble to get you that falafel. Is it vegan? Of course it's vegan. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. We had such a laugh today, that's all. Ah, oh, I bet you did. <laughs> Laurel, you should be telling them off. Yeah? I kind of wish I'd gone with them. <laughs> Sorry. I'll see. I'm not jealous. Oh, you so love him, Laurel. I've seen the way you look at him. He fell right into my trap earlier. What trap? Well, I didn't really think Ashley had lost it and run off with the kids. I just wanted to see how you react. You so love him. Well, that doesn't mean anything. Oh, stop denying it and just come clear. OK, fine. Fine. I am still in love with him. You happy now? I knew it. Oh, it's actually a relief saying it out loud. I've been denying it to myself for ages. So what are you going to do about it? Well, there's nothing I can do, is there, really? No, but I can. As far as I'm concerned, you two are meant to be together. And I'm going to make sure that happens. <laughs>